My name is Thomas. I'm a trainer with Benchmark Tool and Supply. Today we're going to go over Pocket 3D. That's software mainly used with all GCs on job sites. First things first, when you get out on a job site, uh, it could help to also do this back at the office just to guarantee that everything is lining up before you get out there. But in Pocket 3D, when you go at the bottom, you're going to notice four tabs. You've got Setup, Data, Survey, and Display. From Setup, this is where you actually would build your equipment profile uh, for whatever unit you're using as your rover or your GPS receiver. Um, for this one, we're actually going to set up our profile for our Hyper-V. It's actually going to be UHF radio type as well. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and just type everything up and build it as is. And for sensor type, you're going to use GPS antenna. If I hit the drop down, there's all the different types. Uh, for GPS work, you're going to use GPS antenna. Units would be feet or project specific. And then antenna type is where it matters which kind of unit you're using. If you're using a GR5 or a Hyper-V or, or a Topcon Hyper-SR, this is where you hit your drop down and double check to make sure you have the right one selected. Having the wrong one selected can cause a problem when the software knows what unit you're using. When you offset the range pole height, it's going to take into account that extra distance offset for your antenna reference point. So if you have the wrong one selected here, it's going to assume a different height as well and kind of throw off your grades. So antenna height here at 6.56 is a two meter range pole. Measuring the base or rim comes into play if you're using a range pole or a tripod. If I go over here to image, when I'm measuring the base, it kind of depicts that you're sitting up on a range pole. The only time you would use measure to rim uh, most likely would be used if you're using a base on a tripod setting up over a control point. If I switch that, you'll notice it measures it to that where the yellow and the gray me uh, mesh on the unit. And that diagonal is measured directly from that connection point all the way to the nail you're sitting on. You don't have to worry about slanting off to the, off to the side to measure that offset height. But we're going to switch this back to base. Connection we're going to use with Bluetooth. That way you don't have to be hardlined into your unit. When I hit next, this is your radio type. This is where using UHF comes into play. Uh, with Topcon, we sell either Topcon Digital 2 UHF and here in parentheses, or if we scroll down, you have Topcon FH915. If you're using those, you're going to want to use the one with parentheses SS. From here, serial port is always going to be C. Baud rate, we set these up out of our shop at 38400. And then format, you want to use RTCM3.X. That is just Topcon's recommendations for all newer Topcon Hyper-V units or GR5s. Hitting next, it's going to tell you to save it, so it's going to store that equipment profile. So now I'm going to select my Hyper-V, and I'm going to hit OK, and then now the project knows that that's the rover I'm going to be using. 